place you hear. In today's news, um, I don't know if you guys saw on World Star. I don't watch Fox News, but the clip is on World Star. Fox News is blaming. I don't know if you guys saw the BET Awards. I didn't because I don't watch that channel. But I did catch the clip of Kendrick Lamar's performance of All Right. What the fuck was that? Um, back to what I was saying. <laughs> of uh, his song All Right from Pimple Butterfly. And you know, in the performance, he was standing on top of a uh, beaten up cop car and you know. And Fox 5 basically blamed Kendrick Lamar for racism in America. How y'all feel about that? Discuss that in the chat. Do you think, and this is, this is a narrative that they constantly use, they preach to middle America, that rap music is the reason for, is for racism. You know, it's not, you know, 400 years of racism and another 150 years of systematic oppression. You know, it's nothing like that. You know, constant police brutality. You know, apparently Kendrick Lamar in this world that inspires me. I'm a rapper and try to be a YouTube gamer, but the struggle is real trying to get myself out there. Yeah, shout but out to King uh, King Out Gangfish. I appreciate the donation. And do what I love. Keep doing you, bro. Appreciate the nice words too. Appreciate the donation and the nice words. Um back to what I was saying. Like I said, Fox News, according to them, rap music that's right. That same form of art that was born from that same systematic oppression that we were just talking about is the reason for racism. Those riots in Baltimore? Kendrick caused them. How you guys feel about that? <laughs> oh, man. I was watching that shit. I was like, bruh, bruh, bruh. Like, if I was, a, if I was like, because you know only white people watch Fox News. If I was white, and I didn't believe in the bullshit that was coming out their fucking mouth. I'd be embarrassed to be white. It's like, you know how black people be like, damn, that nigga set us back 20 years. White folks be like, damn, Fox, Fox News, every time that fucking show come on. Shit, set us back 100,000 years, bro. It's embarrassing. Yeah, and then you got these folks down south talking about, um, they don't want to take down the rebel flag. You know, the, the, the Confederate flag because it's their culture. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> you know, that culture that seceded from the Union because, you know, they wanted to keep slaves. You know, they want us to celebrate that culture. But, you know, they're not racist. No, 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 no. Um, it doesn't surprise me J. Cole didn't get a, an award. I mean, you know how these award shows go. It's all about, a, it's all a popularity contest. He may have went platinum, but... You know, he's not Iggy Azalea. He's not an Iggy Azalea popular. What's the name? Uh. Fuck! Hold up. Y'all know how these uh, committees go. If you didn't sell 100 million records like Iggy, psh, like according to mainstream media, Iggy Azalea is bigger, better than Tupac. Like, Iggy is Tupac to white folks. And if you're white and you offend it, Get your life together. When I say white folks, I'm not talking about particularly you, but I am talking about people who look like you. Just like when I talk about niggas, I'm not necessarily talking about people in the chat, but you know, I'm talking about people who look like in the chat. <laughs> I'm so fancy. No, deadass though, like, I don't even try to hate on Iggy. First of all, Iggy don't even got a big booty. Let's, let's be real here. I don't even know what I'm talking about this. I guess I'm just in a talkative mood. Iggy don't even got a big booty. That's one problem I have with it. Everybody be talking, oh, she got a fat butt. Um, and then two, I could, I, I listen to Iggy's album. Like, I don't just be hating on people. I legit listen to everybody's music. I fucking died. I legit listen to everybody's music. I got Spotify, so I guess... For 10 bucks a month, you go. You get to listen to everybody. I listened to her album three times through. I know. How, how the hell did I do that? I don't know. I ask myself the same thing every time I go to sleep. But somehow I made it through her album three times, and I couldn't give you one quotable bar from Iggy's album, bro. And that, that's the first problem why I have where she's garbage as far as MCing goes. And uh, second problem is like, oh, everybody's like, oh, she got a fat ass. But when a black girl has a fat ass, it's ghetto, it's trashy. But when a white girl got one, oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it, man. This is the country we live in. And then you can't even tweet about this type of stuff. I don't even talk about this stuff on Twitter because you say some shit like this. Look, this is this is 
And once again, if you white in the chat, I'm not necessarily talking about you, but I am talking about people who look like you. You say something on Twitter, you say some real shit, right? And white people be like, oh, y'all got BET. Well, how come we can't have a WET? How come we can't have white only colleges and this, that, and the third? It's like white people are so. They forget history so quickly. They tell us to get over slavery and oppression so quickly. But the reason something like BET exists because everything else on television is white. And black colleges exist because black people weren't allowed to read. We weren't allowed to go to college back in the day. So we had to make our own damn schools in order to get a higher education and educate ourselves. And, you know, those things stuck around over time. But for certain people to hop on Twitter and be like, oh, why can't we have white only schools? Like, that just shows you, that's an example of white privilege. They're so fucking ignorant about shit, oblivious to shit, like, cause it doesn't affect them. But you know, we crazy. Black folks, we crazy. Kendrick Lamar, you know, he created racism. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. <laughs> Yo, how can we can't say the N-word? Why y'all want to say it so bad? Like I said in the video, like I was joking around, but I'm dead ass serious, yo. Y'all want to say the N-word? Cool. Let me control taxes. Yo, y'all can let me control y'all taxes. I'm saying let me get your salary, your yearly salary, and you can say nigga. So there's equality. You can't say nigga. Since, we're on, since I'm ranting right now, you know another thing I fucking hate? I hate generalizations, bruh. Like, white folks be like, yo, I'm from Germany. I'm from Ireland. I'm from England. Be like, cool, and I respect that. I totally acknowledge that. I respect that. Yo, you're English. I know there's definitely a difference between a British faggot and a German Nazi. I know the difference, okay? But when it comes to other nationalities, I keep fucking dying. I'm about to give up on this one. When it comes to other nationalities, everything else is generalized. They'll be like, uh, you'd be like, hey, I'm from Jamaica, or I'm from Honduras. I'm from, and they'd be like, no, no, you could be like, I'm from Honduras. They'd be like, oh, so you're Mexican. We like, no, we're like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? <laughs> You'd be like, oh my god, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. That video just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I guess that's what set me off. That Fox News video about racism and shit. That shit was funny to me, cause like people actually think that way, yo. How do I feel about fag rights, bro? I don't say that. I know I say faggot a lot, but I'm not particularly talking about gay people. I just. This is a bad habit I need to stop doing. But, you know, you acting like a faggot. What am I supposed to do? Uh, the way I feel about gay rights and shit. Hey, I'm for it, man. If them niggas. Look, this, what, first of all, why the, what, the people who are mad, why does it make you mad that gay people can get married? Now they can get married and be miserable like the rest of us. Because I know I'm miserable. <laughs> Like, let them be miserable, bro. What's, the dick some nigga takes in his ass don't affect your life, bro. Worry about your damn self. That shit don't bother me. Like, I'm indifferent about it. Like, cool. They get to be married. They get to have their rights. Whatever, yo. Yeah? As long as you know I ain't gay and you respect that, it's all love, man. I ain't tripping. But I don't understand that shit. Grown-ass men. Maybe it's time to get out of town. I'm with it. They can get married. They can be miserable. Let them cook. This man said I'd hit Rachel Dezel, whatever her name is, Dazel, the white girl who thinks she's black. Uh, I don't understand, yo. Rachel funny to me. I never seen a white person that want to be black so fucking bad. Just but as far as Rachel, I don't feel any type of way. Like I don't feel. I don't, one thing I don't understand is like niggas on the internet be getting fake mad on Twitter and shit, being fake mad because this bitch pretended to be black. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. That bitch don't pay my bills. That's got a tank. Scarecrow's got Whatever. As far as I'm concerned, Rachel Rachel Dozier, or whatever the hell her name is, is the greatest fucking cosplayer of all time. This bitch had the whole NAACP confused that she was fucking black. You gotta respect that as far as I'm concerned. This bitch is the greatest cosplayer of all time. This bitch need to go to goddamn Comic Con. Cause she is the best goddamn fake black person I've ever seen in my life. I listened to Tiger's album on uh, Spotify. Like, I th <sighs> this is how I feel about Tiger's music, man. I don't know what the fuck to think about this nigga's music, bro. Tiger, Tiger, whatever the fuck this nigga calls himself, Tiger the Tiger. 
like listen to Tiger's album all the way through and somebody tell me like the premise of one of his songs the premise what's the plot behind his song stop chasing me god damn you listen to Ti I listen to Tiger's album through all the way two times I said what is this nigga talking about look at the pink on the car bar bar like he just be saying words but none of it makes sense like listening to a Tiger album is like taking the SAT like it's like you can prepare for it all you want, but once you do it, like you, you know you're not ready. Like it don't make no damn sense. I don't. I don't. The only songs that ever made sense for me from Tiger is Rack City and uh, Make It Nasty. You know them stripper. Them stripper. He he should stick to stripper anthems. Cause when he be rapping, I just be like, shut up, nigga. What the fuck. Whoa, yeah. I feel Hashtag support the coons. It's too deep. <laughs> and that's how I feel about Tiger's music, man. Like, I feel like, yo, either Tiger got, like, the deepest bars in the game, or this nigga's a complete idiot. And I feel like it's the second one. I feel like it's the latter, you know? I don't feel like his bars is deep. Because, I no, no, thank you. No, thank you. Do I think Young Thug is gay? I don't care. Why do y'all, like, we just had this discussion. Like, oh, like the last stream, nice. that dude said to me, you don't get no bitches. And I told him, so? What? Now what, nigga? It's the same thing. Like, uh, so what if Young Thug is gay? He's gay. God damn. Let that nigga take a dick in his butt and mind your goddamn business. Because I ain't worried about it. Every time I, th I, every time I hear the, the, the phrase dick in the butt, I got to think about a dick in the butt. That's gay. I don't want to think about that shit. Going down like Troy Ave's record sales. I have beaten you. You ran away. Why submit yourself? Do I think Hillary Clinton's gonna win presidency? Um, I don't know. I don't know who's on the Republican side. I really don't care. I don't vote, so. <laughs> don't let them fool you. Your vote doesn't matter. If you pay attention in government class, the electoral college picks the president, so you know they get you out your here to register to vote, and then you don't even do nothing. Hey, but if she does win, cool. That's cool. The victory for the vaginas. Next, we need a Hispanic. Look, this is what the, I, this is what I said. We do. we need to start like a coalition of minorities, right? We need to get like one representative for black people, maybe Obama. One representative for women, because you know they fall under minorities. Along, then we need to get an Asian person, a Hispanic person, and then we need to start a coalition of a coalition of minorities. And then what we'll do is every presidency we pass and be like, yo, it's the Asian dude's turn. It's the Hispanic dude's turn. We just keep it away from the white man. Keep it away from the white man. What about, <laughs> what do I think about ISIS? What about ISIS? ISIS didn't kill nine black people in the church. ISIS didn't lynch people down south in the 50s and the 30s and the 40s. ISIS didn't enslave my people and wipe their history away. So I don't give a fuck about ISIS. Whereas you prefer to live off undeserved praise. Look, I'm going to give y'all the best. Listen up, listen up, listen up, yo. I'm going to give y'all the best defense to any person who doesn't believe in racism in America and doesn't believe in white privilege. When that one white person in your class be like, yo, white privilege doesn't exist, racism doesn't exist. This is what you say to them. Say, hey, whatever, whatever the white person's name is. For the sake of the joke, let's say his name is Billy. Be like, hey, Billy, ask me where, my, ask me where I'm from. And Billy's gonna be like, well, where are you from? And be like, I don't know, because you erased my history. Like, they don't understand that. And if they're smart, they'll register what you said. But if they're not, well, pray for them. I am not a black Hebrew Israelite, deaf to all white people. Nah, I'm not on that shit, bro. Because if you actually look at the pictures in the um, civil rights movement, and as well as, uh, like, the marches in Baltimore and shit, there's white people marching with us, bro. Don't get it twisted. Not every white person is the devil. Do not get it twisted. But it is a lot of ignorant ass motherfuckers out here that never had no black friends. Like I feel like if I was president, if I was president, the first the first bill I was signed into office is the uh, "Am I My Brother's Keeper" bill, and what that would be is every white person would be mandatory. It would be mandatory for every white person to have a black friend so they can learn from them, or or just a person of color. That way, people can stop being ignorant about shit. Like, please explain this to me, like, dear white people. 
please explain to me how you're you're intelligent enough to comprehend that rock music, you know, all that demonic bullshit y'all be singing about, killing babies and drinking blood and biting bats off people's fucking heads. Don't believe me? Look up Ozzy Osbourne. Tell me how you're able to comprehend that all of that rock bullshit is entertainment, but you can't comprehend that a lot of rap is entertainment. Please, 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 please. please. 